UAVs actually offer um, more benefits and just efficiencies as well because uh, ultimately they can be operated at lower altitudes, they can be operated at lower speeds um, because this isn't manned aviation, our safe operating parameters are a little bit different. Um, because we can fly lower and slower, we can get better densities, we can get better accuracies, um, and ultimately get better data. So what we're seeing with UAVs um, and new scanner technology as well is that um, you know, increased quality in data as well as increased efficiencies, um, both in cost and um, you know, turnaround time for data. So with LiDAR processing, um, our UAV or helicopter, it's flying around in the air and it's shooting out lasers in a very, very simplistic way of describing it. And we need to know to a very, very just micro level accuracy of where that UAV was at every single moment, you know, 200 times a second, 200 hertz, so they're pitching down, rolling to the right, rolling to the left. All these little things are adjusting where those lasers are getting sent out. So if we know with a high precision trajectory in our processing where it was, what it's doing, we can map out to higher accuracies we can fuse it with raw LiDAR data to create that accurate point cloud. The, the scalability and the ability to gather either small or massive quantities of data um, is really what UAVs afford. UAVs afford the ability to, to go and gather data that otherwise you never would have been able to get. Um, you know, either you would have had the, you know, once or twice a year where you could have mobilized the helicopter to get data or, you know, you just would send somebody out and it would be horribly inefficient. Um, so UAVs now being able to just send up a drone and take images, take thermal images, take LiDAR data. Um, I mean, pretty much any sensor you can think of, you can mount to a UAV and you can gather, you know, accurate digital data that then can be take, taken in and processed for whatever workflow you're using.